we're going to talk about precision and making measurements. I want you to think of precision as the level of exactness that you can get when you repeat measurements of similar systems. We're going to break that down in practice into two concepts. The first is the precision unit. So this is the smallest increment or decimal that we can get from our measuring device or our method of measurement. Uh, so, as an example, if I'm going to measure the width of this colored pencil box with my ruler, I've got centimeters and I have millimeters marked. And so, I get roughly 8.9, it's not quite all the way to that 9 mark, centimeters. And the marks on this ruler are every millimeter or tenth of a centimeter. So what is the precision unit for the ruler? For the ruler, the precision unit is that decimal, that's the smallest increment given, that is 0 0.1 centimeters. If I try making that same measurement with the digital calipers that I've got here, make sure it's zeroed out, now this one says millimeters, but we can just move the decimal over to get centimeters. And when I squeeze down on the box, I get 8.976 millimeters. Or centimeters because I moved the decimal over. So what's my precision unit? My precision unit is this smallest decimal here. These are the calipers. I get 0 0.001 centimeters. That's the precision unit. So we can see the calipers give a lot more precision units. That's part of their value. Now let's talk about greatest possible error. So this is the idea of there's a range of values that I know this measurement lies between. What is that range? Is the measurement exactly 8.976? Plus or minus how many? So let's, when we make this measurement with the ruler, I can tell that the measurement is, is either right on the 8.9 or kind of between the lines. So for the ruler, this is one half the precision unit because I can tell if it's halfway in between or right on the line. That makes the ruler have a greatest possible error of plus or minus 0 0.05 centimeters. For my digital calipers, I'm going to have to use a slightly different method. I have so many decimals, so I'm going to take a measurement 8.977. Now notice, if I do this repeatedly, the box has a little bit of squish to it, and so even though I get all these decimals, I don't get exactly the same digits every time. So let's just repeat a few times here. Eight point nine eight one. So I've done three measurements, and I can see there's a little bit of a spread. So what's my greatest possible error? The spread here is actually slightly larger than half the precision unit. The spread from my smallest, lowest here, and highest here is 0 0.01 centimeters. So this is going to be plus or minus 0 0.01 centimeters. That is the greatest possible error. That's the range I know my measurement really lies between. I get a lot more digits here, smaller precision unit, and that often helps me see more clearly the greatest possible error, which is a lot smaller than for the ruler. So that's one reason I might prefer this device.